All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna do a quick winter scene. So let's get going. All right, so first of all, all you're gonna need is a piece of paper and something to draw with, and that's it. If you wanna color at the very end, you can. Uh, we'll see if we get there. Otherwise, let's get started. So first thing I wanna do is label some things that are winter theme. So we did this in the Wednesday class, if you guys were with me, with kindergarten, first and second grade, and it's a gingerbread house. And we also add some other stuff, such as like Christmas trees and snowmen and other stuff like that. So let's start off with the basics first and we'll go from there. So first of all, let's add some snow, obviously. But before we add snow, I think the best thing I wanna do is add a snowman in the corner. I'm gonna add my snowman right here. Nice big circle. And then maybe parentheses right here. And then after that, I'm gonna do a rectangle that's kind of curved for the scarf. Now for the scarf, I want to do kind of like a rectangle coming out from underneath both ways and they're going to have little lines going away from it so to decorate the end of the scarf like that and then for the head I'm just going to go make a tinier circle on top but I'm going to leave space for a hat if I want to and since we're there anyways we might as well make the hat now so I'm going to go do a nice shape like this I'm going to go up then down make my ball at the end, go from this end, go up, and then kind of connect to the ball again. And there we go. Um, I don't want to do the hands yet because I might want to do it in marker. So I'll leave that out for now. Um, <laughs> since I had the marker out already, I might as well try it. So here we go. I'm going to do one hand out this way. It's probably going to be at the hip. And then another hand towards the hat. And I think that'll be pretty cool. All right, you can do any face you want. Um, the more traditional way to have to do a face is probably just do a carrot nose, like so. And then some eyes, so one eye here, one eye there. And then black dots going across the face. And while I'm at it, let's make some coal buttons. And there we go. All right, so let's put this guy in a scene. So let's draw some snow on the bottom. Now, you don't want a completely straight line. You'd want it, you want it a little bit wavy, just like this. And there we are. So we did a couple of types of gingerbread houses. If you guys want to know how to do all three, you can rewatch the kindergarten, first grade, and second grade uh, recap videos from week 15. And that way you can get, kind of get caught up on how I did each of them. Uh, the kindergarten one, you can only see the front of the gingerbread house. Uh, second, uh, first grade, you can see the side and the front. And then for second grade, you guys can see the front, the side, and also the back of the gingerbread house on one picture. And I thought it would be pretty cool. So anyways, uh, let's get going. Uh, I think I'm going to do the second one, though, or the first grade one. So you can kind of see uh, the front and the back. So let me start off with a candy cane here. So that's one part of the side of the house. And let's do another candy cane right here. Let's try to make it the same height as best as possible. And then let's do the back of the house with another candy cane. So let's do one, I want to say right around here. It's going to be almost to the edge of the paper. With that said, let's add some stripes. Diagonal stripes, obviously. Just like so. And diagonal stripes the opposite way for this other candy cane. And let's do some stripes on this last third one right there. And let's try to draw some triangles here. So one triangle here. I think that's only one triangle, I'm sorry. I'll draw some icing, well, underneath that. Symbolize icing and, um, I guess, ice. Line from there to there. Add some more icing on top of that. And then from the top here, just kind of draw a straight line going this way. Mine's curved a little bit and then go straight down. And I'm gonna add some gumdrops on the top. If you wanna add a chimney on top, you can too. I'm not going to though. All right, let's add the door. Here's my door. And then instead of doing a spiral, you could do a spiral if you want. In order to do a spiral, you gotta just make a dot and then spiral outwards. I'm gonna kind of make a shape like this. And then hopefully it uh, works out for me. That way I can color each individual stripe a certain way. All right, I'm gonna do this here, right here. And I'm gonna do a pretzel window, just like so. All right. And then, Add some dots for the pretzel. And then I think I want to add some cool trees in the background. 
So why don't I add a tree trunk right here? Bottom of the tree. A label where the top of the tree is probably right here. So I'm gonna zigzag this direction behind the snowman. And then zigzag this direction this way. And then to create depth a little more, so kind of like the snowman's in the foreground, the um the, the gingerbread house in the trees kind of like the mid-ground. And then we can kind of do hills in the back to symbolize the background a little bit. I thought that would look pretty cool. Alright. And I think I'm done with my picture. I'm just adding a couple more accessories here and there, such as clouds and stuff like that. All right, well, I'm gonna get going because I think I hear someone upstairs, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to end the video right now. Um, but hopefully I can color and show you guys later. And that's it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.